Only four teams remain in this year's FCS playoffs, and two will meet right here in Missoula on Saturday when North Dakota State comes to town to visit the Montana Grizzlies. It's two teams with plenty of history and tradition at the FCS level and against each other. But instead of looking back at either game from when they met twice in 2015 or in last year's playoffs, we dug up a deep cut for you. Back to the first time Bobby Houck locked horns with the Bison in the second game of the 2003 season. And let's jump in. The date was September 6, 2003. The second game under Houck in his first season manning the program. And there he is coming out of the tunnel, similar as he does today for his very first home game as head coach as UM beat Maine the week prior. And now they welcome the North Dakota State Bison, who are actually in their final season as a Division II powerhouse before transitioning to D1. The Grizzlies wasted no time in flexing their muscles in this one as Jeff Disney at quarterback scored on a four-yard run and the Grizzlies defense was also sharp early. And then later in the first quarter, Lavander Seegers takes the pitch and heaves it over the top on the trick play to Tate Hancock as Montana takes a 14-0 lead. Chris Snyder added a field goal in the second quarter to go up 17-0 before NDSU responded finally and got a safety to get on the board. But Montana struck one more time. And how about this familiar face? Disney hits receiver Dane Oliver for an 11-yard touchdown to go up 24-2 at halftime. And how about that throwback as the now head man of the Sentinel Spartans program helps the Grizzlies extend a big lead over the Bison in his senior year. Second half now and the Bison start to show that medal they would bring up to the Division I level as they score midway through the third quarter to trim the lead, then get a field goal later to trim it to 24-12 Montana heading into the fourth quarter. With 7.09 to go in the game, it's the Bison again as Allen Burrell scores on the 11-yard run to make it a five-point game in Missoula. And it wouldn't stop there, as with just over two minutes to go, North Dakota State takes their first lead of the game as Rod Malone hits Mike Weiser for a 20-yard touchdown. The two-point conversion fails, so it's 25-24 Bison over the Grizzlies. Last chance for Montana with 2.07 to play. The Grizzlies take 10 plays and drive down the field all the way to the NDSU 24-yard line with three seconds remaining. So out comes Snyder, the hero two years earlier in the 2001 National Championship game, to try the game-winning field goal, but it's missed. Just to the right of the goalpost, North Dakota State erupts in celebration, while the Grizz can't believe it. And the Bison complete the upset over the Grizzlies 25-24 to hand Houck his first loss as a head coach on a wild afternoon in Missoula in that 2003 season. And the rest is history we know well. After meeting in 2003, the Grizzlies dominated the Big Sky Conference and FCS back in the 2000s and were a perennial contender. While for the Bison, they made that leap to D1 and they became the team of the decade in the 2010s and have won, oh, just, you know, nine national championships since 2011. Not bad if you ask them. It's a clash of the Titans coming this Saturday at Washington Grizzly Stadium with the winner packing their bags and heading to Texas for the FCS National Championship game.